Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for October 11th, 2024. Well, happy Friday, everyone. Hope everyone had a great afternoon, great evening, ready for another wild and crazy day in the market. A few things going on in the market that makes me want to scratch my head a little bit because they don't make a whole lot of sense to me. But before we get into that, how about we take a look at what happened overnight? First off, we had Asian markets last night, a little bit mixed. We had Shanghai just slightly lower uh, by 2.55% after the big moves that they have made. 2.55% isn't all that big. Um, Hong Kong um, up. 2.98%. Now, something that's coming up here on Saturday, they are um, highly anticipating that the um, uh, Communist Party over there will be coming out with a massive stimulus uh, package on Saturday morning. So you'll want to be keeping an eye on that. Um, talk is it could be um, as much as a trillion um and maybe more so uh keep an eye on that for uh saturday but for now we had um, um india a little bit lower last night we had the nikkei higher a little bit last night by 0.57 percent and australia was up 0 0.10 percent or down 1.10 percent if we take a look at european markets this morning european markets have a little bit of a mix they're trying to be bullish as they wait on the U.S. Doll, um, data here this morning, um, DAX is up 0 0.06, the FTSE is down 0.22, and the CAC is up 0.05%. So really small moves. As a matter of fact, it wasn't all that long ago they were all red. So uh, just worry about uh, today's data as well. And of course, um, our CPI that came in hotter than expected yesterday. If we take a look at U.S. futures this morning, however, we're feeling a little bit on the bearish side um, and just barely on the bearish side. Uh, Dow futures are showing a decline of 63 points or 0.15 percent. S&P 500 futures down 0.14 percent and NASDAQ futures down 0.25 percent as we wait for this big day of data coming our way. So. First off, let's take a look at what we have going on here in um, our oil uh, markets. Oil had a pretty strong rally yesterday, uh, pushing back up. Um, oil producers pushed up and then kind of seesawed around a little bit. But right at the moment, oil futures are just slightly down this morning. So you can see we've got a little bit of a decline in here oil futures down 70 cents at the moment at uh, let's see 75.15 a barrel we have a brent crude uh, being down 79 cents at 78.61 a barrel and natural gas um, trying to follow through with its little rally yesterday bouncing back up it is showing a little bit of green this morning now one of the other things that's pretty interesting here to be paying attention to is our bond yields are not easing up we do have the two-year bond at 3.97 now it has crossed over four a couple of times in the last couple of days so that one has eased just a tiny bit but our 10-year bonds holding in there strong at 4.09% and the 30-year bonds at 4.39%. We're still seeing those bond yields running into some worries and concerns here overall. And um, data certainly suggests that there is a problem here and the bond market is disagreeing with this push in the, the um, indexes. If we take a look at our um, precious metals here this morning, well, GLD um, reversed a bit yesterday, pushing back up, and it is up again this morning. Right now, gold futures are up $18.80 an ounce. Again, a little bit of concern here in the precious metals markets about what's happening with our U.S. indices and concerns overall with the potential of the rising inflation. And we're seeing that fear showing up here in gold. 
pushing on through right now at $2,658 an ounce. Uh, silver also rebounded um, yesterday again and is trying to go a little bit higher this morning as well. If we look at copper here this morning, copper is moving up just ever so slightly, trying to push back up into that downtrend. And we have platinum and palladium. Palladium had a zooming day yesterday. Palladium trying to move just slightly higher this morning. So keep an eye on those. If we were to take a look at the crypto markets here this morning, had a pretty rough day in those crypto markets yesterday but this morning they're trying to bounce back up here up fifteen hundred and thirty six dollars a coin here on bitcoin this morning trying to recover ether up fifty two dollars and seventy eight cents a quarter uh, i mean a coin um what is interesting is while that's happening i'm watching the dollar futures here and the dollar futures are continuing up up 21 cents at the moment so we're continuing to see dollar strength here in the market and um, a little bit of concern maybe about those inflation numbers and of course the pending PPI number that will be out here this morning. Now we have already received one of the bank reports here today. Uh, JP Morgan has reported here this morning and trying to move up um, according to the headline here, they top estimates and revenue. Um, so on better than expected interest income uh, coming in. So they did beat on both the top and bottom line trying to push that up and that is relieving just a little bit of some of the selling pressure here in the futures at the moment. So we'll have to keep an eye on these big bank reports as they start to roll out. Um, let's take a look at um, well, I think that we've covered everything. So how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I very much appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Remember, we want to look at these charts without bias. We want to look at them uh, for what they are, not for what we want them to be. So although there's some real head scratcher things that, and, and head scratcher things that kind of give me the sense that we are building a bubble here in uh, the market, but that being said, the diamonds is in a very bullish pattern. There's no way you can look at that and not see a bullish pattern. So if the bulls can continue to find inspiration, well, there's every reason to believe we can break through that candle right there and then push right up on up here, see if we can break that high print. And then we've got blue sky above. Today might be the day that we finally get something strong going on in the market. And I'm right now just seeing um, Dow futures turning green here on the day after the JP Morgan report. So every reason to believe that we could push on up and Fridays lately have been a reason for zoom, zoom, zoom in the market. So we might get enough inspiration here today to get those bulls really inspired. Now, if the bears were to find inspiration today, we've got a nice little price support in here that could hold us. And as long as we don't break down below there, I don't think there's going to be any kind of worry at all. However, if we were to break down below there, pushing down in this chart, I'm going to use this big candle here of uh, Wednesday that we'll want to be paying attention to here. If that pushes down below that, I think we're going to raise a little concern in the market and breaking down below here would really start to raise that concern, pushing us lower. And remember, we've kind of slipped our trend here in the chart. This may be resuming that upside trend in this pattern, but if we were to push back down through there, there would be some warrior concern coming into the market. Now, taking a look at our SPY, SPY also record highs here in the SPY. They weren't able to repeat that yesterday. So if those bulls can find inspiration here today, then a push through um, into blue sky highs certainly looks like 
not that hard for them to do as long as we can get some good bullish data here. If the bears, however, find inspiration, we'll be looking at this area first as support. Should that break, we could come back down here into this upside trend, trying to find that support in the chart. Now, if we were to slip through there, well, I think this area of price support, and that's a pretty strong price support too, would be the place I'd be looking uh, to try and catch some of that bounce here in the market. If we did sink beyond that point, um, then we're likely going to run into some fear in the market that's moving down through this big area of price support. Some fear come up in the market and maybe even a little bit of panic. If we take a look at our um, I excuse me our QQQ QQQ continues to be stuck in its range it is a wide range but we ran up here and we tested again and largely on the back of Nvidia alone we pushed the QQQs up here and as you can see um, we're testing this resistance area up here to see if we can pop out. So if those bulls find inspiration today in the data and can get inspired enough to push on through, well then, hey, we'll push right on up in here and we'll see if we can break into some of these next levels of price resistance. And of course, pushing on beyond, up beyond this point, we've got blue sky highs possible in the queues and I still think that's very possible and this is still a very bullish chart pattern here in uh, QQQ. If the bears were to find inspiration, well we got a little bit more support in here um, to be considering because if we pull this chart back there's a lot of price action support right through this area. So if the bears were to get going, well first off I'm going to look at a little support right in here and beyond that probably a little support right in here if that were to break then we're going to be in here testing this upside trend and possibly coming down to test this congestion area here in the chart and i think if we were to break below there we would really raise some concerns in the market and probably see um, a little bit of a run for the door can't say that's going to occur right now everything is showing very very bullish and if we take a look at iwm IWM, the weakest of the indexes, and although it gapped down yesterday and rallied back, um, IWM is still technically in a downtrend. If the bulls can find that inspiration here today, first thing we need to do is we need to break back up through here and that downtrend pop up through here, and then we'll have to start dealing with some of these resistance levels on our way back up in that chart. So watch that carefully if those bulls can get going. If the bears, however, find inspiration, what I'm looking for right now is possibly a test of this candle right in here, that candle low as a press back down, and then a possible fill of this gap, which would challenge this upside trend. It's kind of a flat upside trend, but it would challenge that. We'd possibly pop through there. Bears pushing on beyond that point. I'm looking for some support down in here that runs back here quite a ways. And it's a pretty substantial support area on that red line. So watch that carefully. How about we take a quick look at our VIX. Our VIX, despite the fact that we showed lots of bullishness yesterday, pushing and pushing and pushing, our VIX did very little in pulling back. We're still holding in there right around 21 handles on the VIX. We're holding this price support. Perhaps today we'll break that log jam and we'll get those bulls going here with a little bit more energy. But watch that carefully. We are still holding this upside trend on the VIX and we have a little bit of concern and a little bit of fear with all these uncertainties playing out um, in the market. So if the bears were to get going, I'm gonna watch this area right up here. Breaking through up here could really start to raise some fear in the market. If the bulls can find that inspiration, I need to see them pushing down. We need to see those come down in here, testing some of these support levels, breaking through that little bit of support and relieving some of that pressure, uh, maybe down around 16, 17 handles in the VIX. So keep an eye on that. If we take a look at our T20s, our T20s still a little bit of a concern for us. Uh, T2122, we ended up, we had more stocks pulling back yesterday than going up 
can see that in T2122, despite the fact that we get the sense everything is bullish. Um, by looking at the indexes, we're not seeing that on the internals of the market. So if the bulls find inspiration here today, well, we certainly have opened up an opportunity for them to push if we can get something inspired and going here in the market. However, if the bears find inspiration, we still have quite an opportunity for a downside move if the bears get that inspiration today. So keep an eye on this. We get that sense that everything here is bullish the last couple of days, but we're not seeing it on the internals. If we take a look at T2108, the percentage of stocks above the 40 day moving average, they continued to decline yesterday, despite the fact that we were moving up in some of these indexes that continued to decline. We're still below 50%. Perhaps today we can find that inspiration and maybe we can start pushing back up and testing some of these resistance levels in the chart and getting that back above that 50% area here on T2108. Our T2107 also continuing to show stress um, percentage of stocks above the 200 day. Now you'll notice by the end of the day on that pop back up that we had right at the end, we did draw this back up here and hold in here, but still continued to show that weakness overall in the percentage of stocks above the 200. So we'll want to be pretty carefully watching this. A break below here could raise some a little bit of concern and we might be stretching down toward this 50 percent area here in t2107 now if those bulls find inspiration i would look for a push up here to find that resistance in the chart if we take a look at our uh, t2101 this is our problem and our problem is the breadth continues to fall our breadth was really weak yesterday despite the fact that we went up so there's something really weird about what's going on we're seeing our bond yields go up we're seeing the dollar go up and it is completely opposite to the market very strange for that to occur it i i, I kind of expect something's going to have to give either the market's going to have to give or the bonds are going to have to give i don't know which we'll have to watch carefully for that but one thing we can certainly see is the breadth of the market is weak we continue to be we're in the total blackout of the corporate buybacks which is adding to that pressure here in the market and although that's occurring we are stretching and stretching and stretching the market back up for new highs so something could easily pop and crack make sure if you're um, pushing into those long trades make sure sure you are putting those stop losses in following that trend up because we are in bullish trends in the diamond spy and QQQ. But make sure you're raising those stops and protecting those profits in case we get that sudden shift in the market. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar here for today. And our economic calendar, well, we've got a couple of things to be paying attention to. First off, we're going to be looking at a PPI final demand number and looking at this, Right now, they're looking at those numbers coming in pretty good on the consensus estimates. Kind of what we saw in the CPI, they were good on the consensus estimates, not so good on the actual numbers. So we'll want to watch this pretty closely today. Certainly a market moving report and could add to that sensitivity to um, uh, to inflation if this number comes in hotter than expected. If we take a look, we've got Goolsby, Logan, Bauman speaking today. We've got a consumer sentiment number. Right now, our index is showing 70.1, a very low sentiment number, and um, year over year inflation expectations at 2.7. So this could also be an important number today to be watching for. Now, having said that, we've got a Baker Hughes rig count that nobody's probably going to pay attention to today. 
what everyone's going to be thinking about and what's going to be more important, I think, to the market overall as we finally get the sugar rush of the um, earnings um, that are kicking off here. So we've already looked at JP Morgan, JP Morgan moving up slightly on its report here this morning. We'll want to keep an eye on that as that pushes back up here into these resistance levels in the chart. But JP Morgan looking bullish here at the moment. We're still going to get reports from uh, BlackRock here this morning. Watch that carefully. Looks like it's trying to stretch up here today, um, this morning. So watch that. We're going to hear from um, uh, Bank of New York. Watch that one here. Tried to stretch up a little bit of a pop and drop going on in there. We're going to hear from Fastenal here today. Fastenal looks like it started moving down, but it's trying to push back up here today trying to deal with some resistance in the chart. Watch that carefully. And last but not least, WFC reporting today. And we're getting some whipsaw in this as well. I'm not sure these reports are out yet. We're just reacting to the JP Morgan numbers here this morning. So those are your notables for today. Um, they'll all be this morning. There are no notables this afternoon to um, be concerned about. As a matter of fact, almost nothing to be concerned about next Monday. We're going to resume earnings on Tuesday next week with more of the big bank reports and a little fuller slate of earnings reports. So keep an eye on that. Let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do, everyone, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. If you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that favor, click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. That helps. Um, the channel to grow and even the the smallest a comment even an emoji helps um, just a good morning or a thank you uh, is all you need to do and that helps a lot in triggering the YouTube algorithm to show these videos to more folks so thank you everyone who does take the time to do that I really truly appreciate it now let's take a look at some of these stocks setting up remember everyone these aren't recommendations to buy or sell any security you need to do your own due diligence be very careful in this market try to remember that there is all of this uncertainty out there um, right now in the market and we need to be thinking um, clearly not trading with emotion or blindly following someone else's trade idea do your um, research to make sure this tr um, these ideas work for you first off um, I'm going to continue to go back to some of my favorites here of this week uh, Pinterest I think is looking pretty darn good in here and you can see pop my alert it hasn't had a lot of momentum but nothing in the market has had a lot of momentum to get moving perhaps today changes that but watch that carefully here on Pinterest really looking good in this chart and as you can see pushing up through that 50 day I would set a stretch up here toward that 200 looks pretty likely and Pinterest looking good overall. Let's take a look at a few others. Mickey D's in here continuing to wind up in this very, very tight consolidation. I would watch that closely holding on to this price support after breaking out, moving over here into trend. I would look for that next opportunity. If that pops up, just simply do to um, you know, motion in the market, if we can get something going, emotion in the market, if we can get something going with these big banks today, might have that opportunity to push on through. I'm gonna say the same thing here about Dash. Dash actually had a good move here um, yesterday, pushing up through my alert, and we're getting closer and closer to that trend. So if we can find that inspiration here, maybe that push on through there could be something to be paying attention to. Gilead has made that move and yesterday pulled back here just a little bit. Notice we're still coming into this trend. So I still think there's that opportunity. This could rest back into here a little bit and then still make that move to the upside. Keep an eye on Gilead. Cleveland Cliffs, 
boy, threatened a couple of times here this last week to pop my alert. Now this is one that's coming up out of a bottom, breaking that downtrend here in the chart and trying to turn and come back to the upside. And this is not the only one. If you look at like uh, Nucor, Nucor doing the same thing, coming up in steel, trying to come back around. So I keep an eye on those, looking pretty good overall. Um, if we're going to be really, really bullish in the financials here today, I would be keeping an eye on something here in SQ. SQ turning around from moving to the downside pay system here. If it can, it had a really good day yesterday pushing up, and if it can continue to break on through up here, we've broken this resistance. Now, any push through beyond that would be awesome. We could come up here and test this area, even if it consolidates and rests a little bit. Still a very bullish pattern overall. And I'm kind of favoring it on this longer term chart. If you look at that weekly, that is a beautiful little potential weekly setup there on SQ. So keep an eye on that. Now, if you um, take a look at PayPal, PayPal, those pay systems have been coming up here and PayPal, I, I'm kind of disappointed in myself because I missed adding to my trade right here. I was watching it and didn't like the market set up and I decided not to do it. So now I'm waiting. I'm waiting for this next opportunity for that trade to come along. But if you look right in here, big resistance area in the chart. If that holds as resistance and we slide out here toward trend, I'd be looking for that next opportunity there in PayPal coming up. Pretty interesting looking chart. You could take a quick look at uh, FedEx. FedEx trying to come up here out of this bottom. Now, still got some major questions in here on this trade. Um, but as you can see, there's that higher low trying to come in and notice this nice little resting consolidation happening right here. So if this does just kind of drift along here and rest a little bit, I would look for that opportunity for that to maybe push on up here in the chart. You can see we're still struggling with our 200 day, but maybe we're going to start that recovery back up to test some of these resistance levels in that 50 day moving average with that higher low starting to come in. So watch that carefully um, in the chart. Um, take a look at um, AMD. Now AMD, this was looking really good, like it had that opportunity to break through this resistance up here. We popped through and then we rejected, breaking down through our upside trend yesterday, but you can see a little bit of bullishness trying to come back in here. So keep a close eye on this. If we can get that energy here and hold in this trend area, then that um, opportunity that could push on through this resistance, I would think, is certainly possible. And another tech to be paying attention to, Tesla apparently disappointed folks yesterday with their RoboTax uh, taxi reveal. Um, and this is a potential short. This was setting up short yesterday um, in that chart. And oh my goodness, um, a big push to the downside. Be a tough one to chase right now with that big gap, but we're starting to see a little bit, a few cracks um, in um, Tesla where we couldn't quite make a new high here. So kind of a great big giant double top high and then a lower low starting over here. So a little bit uh, concerned about Tesla and that possibility it could push us back down. So there's a few charts for you to take a look at. Oh, by the way, I wanted to mention gold. I would continue to keep an eye on precious metals because the way th the market's acting, we're continuing to see those bonds still hold really, really strong. And that is not impressing the market um, all that much. It's showing there's a real disparity here in the market between what the market believes and what the bond market believes. Watch that closely. If we continue to see those bond yields pushing here, I would expect to see gold continuing to move up. A little bit of worry and concern here on the overall market, and particularly if our PPI number ends up coming in hotter than expected. So with that, everyone, have an awesome day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thank you so much for being here this week. I really appreciate it. Y'all take care. Be safe. Have a wonderful day and a great weekend. We'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. Take care, everyone.